Yeah. I went to work with Rob Dickens and uh, at the point of going over, I was just about to sign Howard Jones, through the, who was managed by the lovely David Stops, who I'd known for years as my, as you know, an agent and various other things and running Friars Aylesbury, which I used to go to all the time with Genesis and one thing or another. So I persuaded Howard not to sign to Spiff to come with me to Warner's. And so we signed him to Warner's and Electra. And we had some very big hits. And he sold a good few million albums in America as well. So that was quite a nice little signing, really. Um, but when we went to, when I started at Warner's, Warner's had Modern Romance and a, and a few other um, acts. But we didn't really have much of a, of a, a UK roster. Rob brought in Echo and the Bunny Men. Um, and we uh, we signed the Sisters of Mercy, and we had Matt Bianco. Uh, slowly but surely, we built a few things within that Warner's family. But uh, really, Max Hall was there, and it was his job to sign the UK acts. But I really ran the American division, which was making sure we made sense of ZZ Top, Paul Simon, all those sort of acts, and also the Atlantic acts. So. We had some massive hits during that time, um, and obviously Madonna, which we nearly didn't have, because uh, Phil Strait, who was running the international side at that time, had been bombarded with Madonna tracks and records. And um, at one point, uh, Rob Dickens had got a note, I think a telex or something in those days, he didn't have anything else, did you? A pigeon came in through the window, and it told him that if we didn't, Sign them. I oh, Seymour had told him, I think. Seymour Stein had told him if we didn't sign them, that Roger Ames wanted to sign her to, to London. And so we had to go and find Holiday, I think it was. And Phil Strait had left a lot of his uh, vinyl that had come in from America against a radiator. And I remember I was putting it on and hearing, Holiday! And this thing jumping up and down because it all got warped and things. And luckily we said, Bollocks, we're not going to let Roger have that anyway. And we kept Madonna. And the rest is history.